and cruel ways to make a narcissist shunned by everyone and will make him suffer until he dies. If you've endured manipulation and control by a narcissist for an extended period, it's vital to consider the notion of allowing them to retreat into their own world. Preparing for a significant battle becomes essential. This battle entails altering the current situation, and the satisfaction you'll feel upon completion is invaluable. Narcissists, by their nature, tend to be callous because they struggle to comprehend others' feelings. They frequently take things personally and find it challenging to view situations from different perspectives or address others' needs. Even a minor trigger can prompt them to become defensive. When narcissists are angry, they often engage in hurtful behaviours. They may resort to insults, direct confrontations, offensive language, withdrawal or silence. What's even more disconcerting is that they can execute these actions calmly and coldly, which can be even more unsettling than a straightforward rejection. When you come to terms with the likelihood that a narcissist is unlikely to change, you may experience a newfound sense of liberation. Recognizing that your energy could be better invested elsewhere brings a sense of relief. The upcoming battle may be challenging, but the outcome is unquestionably worthwhile. We've compiled a list of 10 effective strategies to disengage from a narcissist to assist you on your journey. Continue reading until the end, paying particular attention to the 10th strategy. It's a concept you might not have considered before, and its unexpected nature will likely take you by surprise. First, address them by their name. Using a narcissist's name during a conversation adds a personal touch, which can be somewhat unsettling for them. It signifies that you're unafraid of their presence and can even be a bit intimidating for them. Looking directly into their eyes and calling them by name sends a clear message. Narcissists often perceive others as objects rather than unique individuals. So frequently using their name throughout a conversation highlights your emotional intelligence and sets you apart from how they typically view people. This can subtly unnerve them, so remember to incorporate their name into your dialogue continuously. Number two, keep the conversation on track. Narcissists have a tendency to divert conversations by changing the subject. This is a common tactic they employ with the primary aim of emotionally distressing you to the point where you no longer wish to engage with them. They intend for the argument to become so emotionally charged that you'd rather avoid it altogether. It is crucial not to allow this strategy to succeed. Continually redirect the discussion back to its original topic. This approach will thwart their attempts to distract you. Avoid stooping to their level and getting entangled in a heated argument. Refrain from retaliating if they attack you, because a narcissist often tries to provoke you into losing control, subsequently manipulating facts to paint you as the instigator. Maintain your composure, even in the face of their anger. Stay resolute and don't let their emotions dictate your own. Third, don't take responsibility for their emotional state. It's perfectly normal to feel upset during interactions with a narcissist. They might attempt to label you as overly sensitive, but it's essential not to allow their insults to disrupt your equilibrium. Avoid getting emotionally agitated. Let them be angry if they choose to, and resist the temptation to shoulder the blame for their feelings. Should you accept responsibility for their emotional state, they can exploit this to manipulate you into compliance. Remember that their anger will eventually subside and you are not accountable for their emotional well-being. Number four, refrain from engaging with them while they're in attack mode. Once narcissists unleash their hostility, it's unlikely to subside quickly. Their abuse can take the form of insults, shouting, character defamation, or demeaning your self-worth. It's imperative not to tolerate such behavior. They're addressing you in this manner, so withhold your responses. 
Even negative attention serves their craving for acknowledgement. If you counter their aggression, it will persist. They view you as a figurative punching bag. Continuing to converse with them while they're being abusive allows them to exploit you as such. To break this cycle, you must establish clear boundaries and cease communication when their behavior turns hostile. Fifth, be honest with yourself. Empaths often deceive themselves regarding a narcissist's true nature. Those close to a narcissist frequently extend them the benefit of the doubt and make excuses due to sympathy. When you suspect a narcissist is being untruthful, it's essential to uncover the facts. Avoid succumbing to your emotions, a common pitfall for empaths. Obtaining concrete evidence will facilitate a clear perspective. Refrain from making excuses for them or wishing for different circumstances. Facing the truth may be painful, but it's crucial to do so. Six, don't hesitate to address their deceit and manipulation. Narcissists often strive to undermine your self-assurance, making you question your own reality. When confronted with attempts to distort the truth, it's crucial to calmly and assertively set the record straight. Keep a meticulous record of all significant conversations and interactions, not only noting what was said, but also your emotional responses. This practice can be incredibly valuable when dealing with a narcissist, as it provides a tangible record of their attempts to exert control over you. Sharing this information with trusted individuals can offer additional support, helping them better grasp your perspective and provide valuable guidance. Discussing the narcissist's behavior with others helps you maintain a connection to reality and prevents the narcissist from isolating you with their distorted version of events. If you must engage with the narcissist, aim to do so in the presence of other people. This ensures that your interactions are transparent and observable, making it more challenging for the narcissist to manipulate the situation to their advantage. Once the narcissist realizes that you're exposing their true nature and the gravity of their actions, they might intensify their efforts to alter the truth or portray themselves as victims. However, these actions will ultimately work against them as the truth becomes increasingly evident. As those close to you begin to see the narcissist for who they truly are, they may distance themselves. The narcissist might attempt to tarnish your reputation, but remember that you don't want to be surrounded by individuals who unquestioningly accept their narrative. Throughout this process, you'll discover that you can form more genuine and empathetic friendships, which you can rely on and nurture as you work to construct a healthier, more fulfilling life that is free from the detrimental influence of the narcissist. Seventh, conquer your fears. Dismantling any fear you hold regarding a narcissist is the most effective means of countering their influence. Narcissists often establish dominance over empaths by instilling fear, thereby bolstering their control. Those who harbor trepidation of narcissists and their potential actions typically seek assistance, but this route is frequently unproductive because most individuals are reluctant to become involved. Narcissists' proclivity for constant deception ultimately leads to their undoing. Over time, it becomes evident to others that their words and actions do not align with their professed intentions. When seeking help with the narcissist's conduct, it's possible that people may not listen or even turn against us, as the narcissist can manipulate the situation to cast the empath as the villain. To overcome this predicament, it's imperative to rediscover your inner strength and dispel your fears. Surround yourself with joyful and supportive individuals. You deserve a network of people who can provide assistance. This transformation may lead to an improvement in your health and overall quality of life. Interacting with a narcissist invariably brings about stress and upheaval. Ultimately, people will discern the narcissist's true character. 
Many of the individuals you know probably harboured initial reservations about the narcissist and felt uncomfortable in their presence. Those who fabricate falsehoods about you will gradually unravel as you spend time with positive individuals and seek serenity in your life. However, never underestimate the significance of maintaining your composure and not succumbing to fear. This steadfastness will ultimately compel the narcissist to disengage. Reclaim control over your life and narrative by standing resolute and refusing to let fear dictate your actions. Number 8. Preserve your individuality. Maintaining your own identity and not allowing the narcissist to dictate your life is crucial. Narcissistic individuals often make everything revolve around their own desires and needs. At times, you must remind them that they are not the sole inhabitants of this world. Have you ever encountered signs at a zoo that read, do not feed the animals? The same principle applies to narcissists. Refrain from inflating their ego. Caressing their ego inadvertently exacerbates the situation. Narcissists already possess an inflated sense of self-worth and excessive admiration only destabilizes them further. It fosters their belief that they are superior to you. Contrary to common perception, narcissists do not derive genuine satisfaction from constant praise and adulation. Rather, it bolsters their self-image and amplifies their ability to manipulate and mistreat you. It's akin to feeding a bear. The more you feed it, the stronger it becomes to contend with. Refraining from bolstering their ego prevents them from eroding your self-confidence. Keep your self-esteem elevated and resist allowing the narcissist to become the center of your world. This will empower you to maintain control over your life and reduce the narcissist's grip on you. Number 9. Stand firm against coercion. Narcissists frequently attempt to rush you into actions that do not align with your desires to fulfill their own objectives. Do not succumb to their dictates. Always afford yourself ample time to deliberate whether a decision or action is in alignment with your wishes. You need not yield to their pressure. You can even physically distance yourself from the situation. Safeguard your own best interests and resist allowing anyone to coerce you into actions you do not desire. Present your position with poise and courtesy. This approach is often more effective. It may incite the narcissist's ego and lead to confrontations. Express how their words and actions genuinely impact you in an honest manner, even if they fail to comprehend or feign indifference. The essential aspect is to adhere to your convictions. By standing your ground and resisting pressure, you maintain authority over your decisions and your life. Number 10. Mastering the Art of Assertive No Individuals exhibiting narcissistic tendencies often prioritize their own interests, frequently encroaching on your boundaries, invading your privacy, meddling in your affairs, or attempting to dictate your emotions. They may offer unsolicited assistance, appropriate credit for your achievements, or coerce you into discussing private matters in public. Their poor understanding of personal boundaries often leads to overstepping them unintentionally. To counter this, you must assertively communicate and uphold your essential boundaries. The power of a resolute no is easily underestimated. We may utter it, but our ability to follow through, particularly when dealing with a narcissist, can waver. Learning to confidently say no can be transformative. Ensure that everyone is aware of your boundaries and respects them. All it takes is a firm no. Self-doubt often clouds our capacity to establish boundaries, but it is vital to recognize that ultimatums should be avoided. Issuing an ultimatum may trigger a reciprocal ultimatum from the narcissist. Instead, concentrate on delineating your boundaries and asserting yourself with a clear no. This approach safeguards your privacy, self-esteem, and autonomy while thwarting the narcissist's attempts to exert control. 
In conclusion, dealing with a narcissist can be challenging, but remember that you are not alone. The strategies we've discussed today can empower you, bolster your self-esteem, and help you regain control over your life. If you seek more insightful discussions and practical advice on navigating complex social scenarios, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. We genuinely appreciate your support and engagement, and we are here to support you in return. Always remember that your mental well-being and personal boundaries are valuable, and you have the right to defend them. Stay strong, stay informed, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching. This is Realistic Methods to Confront and Destroy a Narcissist Once and for All. Is there a limit to the malice and manipulation that narcissists can employ? To what extent do you believe this to be true? How can you stay one step ahead of them to ensure you no longer feel threatened or subjugated? I hope this video will provide clarity and address all your concerns. Allow me to introduce myself to everyone here. In today's discussion, we will explore five proven techniques to outshine a narcissist in any conversation. First, I'd like to know if you've ever attempted to outsmart a narcissist. If so, could you share your experiences, detailing what transpired and whether the outcomes matched your expectations? Your insights and feedback in the comments can offer support to fellow survivors. Be sure to stay until the fifth technique as it promises to be the most captivating and significant. Cease projecting your own ideals onto the narcissist and instead focus on their actual characteristics. One of the most significant pitfalls is the challenge of reconciling a narcissist's presence during both joyful and challenging moments. You recognize their toxic traits, yet you find yourself drawn to them because they temporarily alleviate your ongoing suffering. This ongoing internal struggle leads to cognitive and emotional dissonance. You may continue to justify the narcissist's behavior and extend more chances than they deserve, succumbing to their manipulation and inadvertently falling into a gaslighting trap. This mindset is not advisable when co-parenting or navigating a covert power struggle with another parent. The turning point occurs when you stop expecting them to conform to an idealized version of yourself or the relationship. They don't place value on friendship, collaboration, open communication or respect, as they don't see how they can contribute or build upon anything. They remain oblivious to the opportunities before them. Any attempts to fulfill this idealization would be futile, considering their true character has been revealed. It's the darker side of their nature that may have initially shocked and stunned you. View the situation from a distance and seek out recurring patterns in their behavior. Embrace the simple joys of life. Recognize how they transitioned from seemingly angelic to truly malevolent in their attempts to keep you entangled with them, staining every cherished memory of your time together with their mistreatment. Acknowledging this harsh reality may be difficult, but it ultimately paves the way to your liberation. Once you've established their malevolent nature, you will always maintain the upper hand. Don't be deceived by their superficial charm. Trust that they will exhibit the same cruelty in front of your children. In the midst of a heated power struggle, they may resort to extreme measures. The more you can embrace their true character, the more control you'll have over the relationship and the better equipped you'll be to handle whatever challenges they throw your way. Identifying the narcissist is your shield against their harm. Furthermore, alongside trauma bonding and distressing experiences, another phenomenon known as cognitive resonance emerges. The second guideline is to respond to the narcissist without getting drawn into a full-fledged conversation with them. You possess the full capability to navigate this situation. By comprehending their motivations and the advantages they gain from manipulating you, you can shield yourself from emotional manipulation. As you establish this connection 
and shift from reacting to responding, the narcissist will lose their power to provoke you. For instance, when faced with a spiteful message from a narcissist, where they lay the blame squarely on you and attempt to make you feel responsible for their problems, your response should be to provide them with the service they seek. They may demand an explanation for your actions, attempting to coerce you into complying. This is a tactic to draw you further into their web. If you were responding, you would instead sift through the message for the essential information. You might choose to reply to one parent's text only if it pertains to the children's pick-up or drop-off times, while ignoring the other parent's messages and archiving them as potential evidence in case of a dispute. It is essential to prioritize developing emotional regulation and sound judgment for your own well-being. When dealing with a narcissist, relying solely on your emotions is not advisable. Think of your intelligence as an unwavering map. Experiment with engaging your emotions for a more calculated approach when dealing with a narcissist. Mastering emotional regulation will make you a formidable adversary to narcissists. As a third principle, establish clear and steadfast boundaries. Please, take a moment to consider this. Having no boundaries is akin to self-inflicted harm. I understand the challenges of setting limits with a narcissist, but it is crucial for your own benefit. You must do everything in your power to tame this unruly beast. Your adversary is not just a narcissist, but also a complete nuisance. Giving in to them only allows them to seize more ground. Offer them an inch, and they'll promptly take a mile. If they cannot respect your personal space, make it unmistakably clear that you will not yield easily. By failing to set limits, you are setting the stage for ongoing suffering in your life. Narcissists cannot be relied upon to respect your boundaries. Anticipating cooperation from a narcissist is an exercise in futility. If you choose to maintain contact, it should be at your discretion and for the well-being of your children. Regardless of the circumstances or who is present, they will persistently show up every day of the week. They will return to your life as if nothing has changed, assuming their previous role. Identify the root cause of your difficulty in setting boundaries and take steps to address it. To assert your no effectively and keep the narcissist at bay, it is crucial to identify and tackle the underlying reasons for your struggles in doing so. Additionally, if possible, Define clear boundaries regarding the types of behavior you will or will not tolerate. Hold them accountable for their misconduct. In this context, leniency is not a viable option. Ensure they understand how to contact you and the frequency with which they can see the children if you are going through a divorce and sharing custody. 4. Resist their provocations. This narcissist excels in playing the blame game using it to assert their superiority while avoiding responsibility and making others accountable for issues they refuse to address. Do your best not to take the accusations of narcissists personally. Dismiss their attempts at rejection and deflection, as if their words have no effect on you. This is when their hidden motives are exposed. If they can shift the blame onto you, it provides them with a sense of relief and self-assuredness. This, in itself, is a reason for concern. They may not even bother listening to your perspective on parenting skills or techniques, or they might fabricate false information to discredit you. Rebut their claims by emphasizing the importance of raising responsible children. Let them vent their baseless views, as they have nothing substantial to contribute. Consider an alternative viewpoint on the matter. Why lend an ear to someone emotionally detached with a strong self-bias? Their perception of you is entirely skewed, rendering it highly inaccurate. Even though they deny it, you recognize their true nature. This reinforces the initial point. Embrace them for who they are. Once you've overcome them, you'll find humor in their expense. 
Now we arrive at the fifth and final point. Harness their weaknesses as your strength. To see the narcissist as they truly are, you must detach yourself emotionally and observe their repetitive, predictable behaviours objectively. If you can temporarily set aside your emotions to study the narcissist without bias, you will gain the ability to predict their reactions and triggers with astonishing precision. You might influence some of their behaviour if you achieve the previously mentioned objectives. It's not necessary to actively embrace narcissism, but it's a necessity to protect yourself. Can you employ their vulnerabilities as a defence against their torment? Exploit their insecurities, particularly their compulsion to project an impeccable image to the world, to your advantage. Identify what they seek from you and how you can provide it while still fulfilling your needs. Picture it like a slow, steady drip of liquid. Gain their cooperation by appealing to their baser desires and the need for instant gratification. Everything is within reach, but only through careful planning. How likely is it that someone might label me a narcissist if I employ these tactics? It's a possibility, though not a certainty. Your intention is to maintain curtsy without any harmful intent. It's a precaution to adopt in case the worst happens. To clarify, you aren't genuinely harming them. In essence, recognising the truth is the key to your emancipation. Strengthen your mental and emotional resilience. Instead of allowing them to torment you, utilise their strengths against them. This concludes my remarks for now. If you found this video informative, please share your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one.